What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. You can see behind me, it's engine assembly day. Let's walk through what we're fixing to do. So if you watch my other videos on the all wheel drive truck, cause this is what it's for. This is a 6.0 LQ4 with a 4L65E. So what we're gonna do is, this was a good running engine, so. So since this is a budget build, I found this cam, slightly used cam, just had dyno time on it on uh, marketplace and these howard's valve springs they're brand new um i picked them up for 300 i think like 300 bucks actually and then uh to stay with the budget we're using some 862 heads i had i cleaned them up i lapped the valves using some valve dying valve compound and my cordless drill we are going to throw some btr valve stem seals in it and I have some used LS9 head gaskets. And I'm gonna reuse the head bolts too. Just because budget build, I've done it a million times. I don't care what anybody says, it does work. So here we go. We're about to get started on this thing. So here's the difference in the Howard's valve springs that we're using and the factory valve spring. As you can see, there is a lot of difference. All right, one hit down, got the new valve springs on it. New valve guide seals. Cleaned up, lapped the valves. This is what we started with. Actually, that's after I cleaned it up. That's not even what I started with. What I started with was bad. So these are gonna go great on this LQ4. It's gonna bump the compression up, you know, and. There's wins and losses with it, but it's definitely going to be a win, I think. All right, here's how you use this tool. Actually, I didn't even think about it, but you got a couple parts to it. That part goes down there. That part goes there. Put those on the springs. Start those bolts. It's centered. Tighten them down. Tighten them down. Then a lot of times you'll have to flip the head over because the valve's sticking out like that. Now those valve locks are going to go flying. They're on the floor. Then you just... Uh, First process. Valves come off. Those valve stem seals are bad. I bet that was the oil consumption on this engine. So but that's how you take them off. So I didn't think to show you guys that part. Now I don't know if this part actually matters or not, but this is just what my dad taught me. So I always, when I take the valves, like I'm going to use this where it says 862, that's going to be the front, a marked front. And as you can see, look at those valves, man. Those things are horrible. Get the valves out of it. Look how dirty they are. Bad fuels and burning oil. So now we're going to uh, clean this head up. These valve stem seals just pop off here with a pair of pliers. So. See all that oil underneath it? It's not supposed to be there. All right, so we're going to start. We're going to put the valve stem seals on it. I put a little bit of WD 40 on there. I don't know if you need to, but I just didn't want to tear these. Brand new seals, I don't know if you can, I, I don't know. Either way, we're going to put a little bit on there just to make sure. <clears throat> All right, 
then we put our valve springs on. God, those things are massive. We put our, I don't know what these are called, springery, or not the spring locks, because those are the little things. Um, let's see. Have this handy dandy valve tool. It's kind of like your handy dandy notebook, but different, you know. I bought this one off Amazon. It works, probably not the best quality, but let me tell you, it is a lot better than trying to use the C clamp or whatever else I've tried. Had to figure out how to work it for a minute. Oh my goodness. I could use my cordless impact and stuff, but <clears throat> I'm just showing you guys how to do this one. Hand tools, because not everybody has a cordless impact and all that stuff. Besides that, I, I don't know. I just feel like it may not be a great idea to use cordless impact on these, uh, you know, cheap tools like this. Well, we might give it a tappy tap. Hope we don't get hit in the face with a spring. Hmm. I wonder if this thing's all set on one side or the other. Okay, rule of thumb, make sure you center the stupid thing before you start using it. Don't look like an idiot like I just did. My goodness. You gotta make sure your valve don't slip down like that one did. They will. And you put your little locks in here, obviously the wedge side down. If they don't just slip in there, you might have to tighten it down a little bit more. It should just slip right in there.
make sure they're in place. Back this off slowly. the heads done and now we're going to tear this thing apart I suppose let me get the exhaust manifolds off uh, maybe get the water pump off coils valve cover gaskets valley pan and uh, gotta take the crank pulley off so we can get the timing cover off so let's get started doing that got the uh, transmission unbolted from the engine and got the oil pump off <laughs> let me show you something this is the oil pump that came off or the oil pump o-ring that came off it broke in pieces so i'm i had a second where i was like oh, i'll just keep the old oil pump on it and go that would have been a big mistake because i'd have been pulling it back out now we're gonna drop the pan, make sure the pickup tube's clean, clean any gunk out of the bottom of the pan, and start reassembly. Let's get started. I went ahead and cleaned up the block, cleaned some of the crap off the pistons. I didn't get too carried away, but you know what? I figured I might as well, I got it out, so. Um, I wasn't gonna do that, I was gonna throw it back together, but the OCD part of me is like, nope, can't do that, but, uh, anyway so got that cleaned up the covers i did realize i didn't have an oil pan gasket and i don't have all cover gaskets but we're gonna throw that cam and stuff in it here in just a little bit we are installing this used brand through the racing stage three truck cam you can look at it and see like this is a brand new cam it's really not even used so yeah Put this in here. We'll start off. We'll put put some. Uh, I use this looper plate stuff. It's just what I use. Just put her on there real good. Well, you don't start up dry. never want to stick your can in dry. Can do this, but I don't exactly know where it went. key to it is just go slow. You don't want to get in a hurry. Here's our new camshaft retainer plate. It does come with these, uh, these flush mount bolts and you do want to use those. Um, these are the ones that came with it. So make sure you do it. You always want to put one of these new cam retainer plates in it. Like I said, it, it seals your uh, oil galley. You will have a oil pressure problem if you do not replace this. So always want to replace that. There's certain things you can skimp on, certain things you can't. This is one of them you can't. No, you can't put silicone on. I've taken them apart that somebody tried. It did not work out well for them. But 
as you can guess. I'm going to tighten them hand tight. Well, that's unfortunate because um, it came with a red o-ring and I always heard you're supposed to put the color o-ring back on it that it had on it. I don't have a red o-ring unfortunately. I just better not have an oil pressure problem. We're using an LS2 timing chain. This is genuine GM. No uh, fake crap. Seems like it's got a lot of movement in there for a brand new time of chain, but it is what it is. All right, now we're gonna slide this on here, and when I'm done, don't worry, I will index it. All right, we got the uh, cam installed. We got the oil pump installed. I got it shimmed the way you're supposed to. Just put a little bit of this stuff on the, uh, the lifters before we put them in the holes. All right, these lifter trays do take a special bolt. It's a little bitty guy. Make sure you put the right bolts back in there. I just barely snug these. complete bottom end again another thing I did I did it off camera I chased the threads with this modified head bolt always if you got anything in your head see that if you got any crap in your block 
it'll keep your bow or your bolt from going all the way down. You won't torque right. It's also your last chance to blow anything out of the cylinder. cylinder heads this one goes on the driver's side it doesn't really matter other than this one already has the coolant temp sensor in it so it's like that just like that all right I'm not sure, but I think these newer ones, the head bolts are all the same size. Pretty positive. Double checking though. Just because sometimes I can be positive and wrong. Head bolts. Head bolts are something I don't want to be wrong on. lightly with our impact. Ten millimeter upper one. We'll do the same thing with them. Look at 
There we are. 6LLS short block. Hell yeah. Well, here we are. The LQ4 is assembled, painted. I know, I should have taped off the gasket surfaces, but it'd be all right. Just gotta wait for the oil pan gasket to show up so I can put it on. Other than that, this beast is ready to install. That'll be another video though. Thanks for watching. Watch for more of the all-wheel drive OBS project.